Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. We're going to do a fun video today. One team which is completely free to play friendly. Well, the, the champions are, but the idea is not. But completely free to play friendly that is going to take on the whole of the dungeon group. So I did a one team to beat all dungeons before. It was a uh, it was all epic team, and um. But, but it relied on you having certain champions, yeah? And you had to have got those champions. All of the champions I'm going to use today have come to me with no cost at all. So, let's do it. Let's get into it. So, the first one I'm going to do is Seal of the Drakes. Now, Seal of the Drakes is an insanely brilliant free legendary that you get. I think it's a... I can't remember. Maybe like 180 days or 240 days. Um, but she... If she, when she comes into your roster, she is insane, guys. She is so, so strong, um, especially for this type of content. So she's got decreased speed here. She's got AoE stun here. She has got ally protection and resurrection here. I've got her in like a, a kind of standard Warmaster style build um, with a bit of protection on the support tree. I've actually pushed her into Relentless Gear. You don't need her in Relentless Gear. I just wanted it. Um, but we've gone Crit Rate on the Gloves, Defense on the Chest, Speed on the Boots. All of this, 5-star gear. Um, we've gone for Accuracy to land her stuns, Crit Damage to get a bit of damage out, and then Defense on a Ring. And then the rest of the Relentless set, really, I'm just looking for Speed and Crit. Okay? Um, so Silver Drakes is like my number one champion in this team. Um, the second person is someone you get Day 30, High Katoon. She keeps you moving quick. Uh, I've got her in all speed gear. Um, she's got, I've got a great roll of speed on this banner. But then we've just gone speed on the boots, speed on an HP chest, a uh, bit of speed on those defense gloves. And then we've gone for as much speed as I can get with the rest of my gear. So pretty much it's a reasonable amount of defensive stats, speed, and accuracy to land her drop turn meter when we get a chance. Masteries for her. Uh, we've just gone for a speed kind of build. Probably if I was building this just for this for this kind of content, I would actually have gone for a Warmaster build and got a damage up a bit. But she's there really to keep the team moving quickly. The next one is uh, a common Armager. I'm sure you've seen this guy before in my videos. Armager is really, really strong, guys. Really strong as an com uh, uncommon champ. Um, I've got him in crit rate gloves he needs 100% crit to land his his, his abilities um, I'm actually a little bit low on that which I need to sort out quickly let's get some speed and crit on this um, most important thing is get that crit rate up even if you lose a bit of speed there we go um, yeah so I've got him in crit rate gloves I've got him in a defense chest and I've got him in speed boots he is a defensive based champion so I've got a bit more defense here and here um, and he's going to sort of tank some of the content up for me. So he is good and ready to go. So that's three of the champs. We are then going to be looking at uh, Grush. Grush is another free champion, albeit he's quite late into the game. So I think he's the latest one that's just coming out. But an excellent, excellent champion. So uh, I've, I've got kind of a mishmash of gear here. Main thing I wanted to do was to get his crit up, his defense high, and his speed high. And his accuracy on point to be able to land his abilities. So why is he coming into the team then? Well, we've got a decreased attack chance here. We've got Leech on the A1, which keeps my guys healthy. And we've got heals coming out here. So all in all, he's got a great kit for like a one team fits all dungeons type setup. Okay, next one we're going to have up then is going to be uh, War Maiden. So War Maiden in a stun set. I'm sure you've seen me play War Maiden like this before. So stun set, defense on the gloves. She's actually got flat stat defense gloves, guys. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Uh, these have got some speed and accuracy on it. She's actually got a really, really low base defense, which means that flat stat on her, uh, it's still not good, but it's not horrendous. <laughs> She's got defense percentage on the chest, speed on the boots, and then we've gone defense, defense, accuracy on the jewelry items so mainly i wanted to stay alive i wanted to land her decreased defense um and then now and then i wanted to land some stuns as well to keep us in the game so war maiden stun set um and that just leaves us with um a, a sub i think so we have done let me just check here we've done seal grush armiga 
High Cartoon, Walmart. Yes, that's five. So our sub is going to be the one and only Kale. Kale may have to sub in on Dragon. I'm not sure. I've not even done all of these runs in full, so I don't know if these are all going to work. We're going to try it. But Kale just got a life still set, and I've got a reasonable amount of damage. So if I need him, he's going to step in. Uh, but every one of these champions has come to me completely free. Uh, the gear is not. It's come through painstaking hours. But let's just go through one by one. Can we take out these dungeons? Stage 20 across the board um now with this setup here for ice golem i guess the coolest option of of taking out the ads is uh, on the actual boss is this block revive here from armaga which happens uh pretty consistently we've got decrease defense we've got speed we've got stuns we've got leech coming from grush for our for our healing so we should be able to i think crack our way through this set See how many stuns we get off here from Seal. Seal the Drakes is brilliant. Um, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with Wave 1. Wave 1 is generally quite easy anyway, guys. Wave 2 is the tough one. So you really do want for your stuns to come back for Wave 2. And I think she's just used it there. I've got a relentless proc off. So Wave 2 might end up being quite difficult to, to deal with. She's getting tons of extra turns though. This relentless set is doing work. Um, I could have done that drop defense as well, just like holding back for wave two, but uh, such is life. Such is life. So on to wave two. This is the tough one. Hopefully we get that stun off now. I think we might have it back. Yeah, there we go. So we stunned three of them. We didn't stun one of these front guys, which is actually the one I wanted to stun. Um, but again, I'm not in control of that. <laughs> We're just hopeful. Decrease turn meter there. Seal does work. She's got so much good dungeon kit. It's insane. She's one of my favorite dungeon champs. Uh, really, I don't know if she's underutilized, but she's not spoken about, I think, enough. So this feels pretty strong. We're definitely going to get ourselves through to the boss. No problem. Stun's going off here. And what I would say is, like, all of these champions are interchangeable with champions you've got. You know, if you don't have Grush yet... He's just like a nice to have, but anyone who's doing AoE decrease defense can come out there. Uh, sorry, AoE decrease attack could come out. Anyone who's also bringing um, just a bit of utility, really. You know, you could have any epic in a shield set. They do the same job there, but that decrease attack is great. See these stuns going off there from Seal. That's great. Um, so my biggest, I guess one of my biggest risks of the whole video is do we take out the ice golem without taking absolute slams so there's the first hit that's not one of the big ones we do need these ads to go down we really want for a block revive to come out from that armor go at the right time it's totally luck whether it happens or not i haven't got him in crazy damage set because i needed his his gear to be strong enough to work for spider so he's not in tons of damage um which is not going to help us for this. But it looks like we got through to the boss again. And we've got a bunch of people that dropped turn meter in this team. So, you know, look at the turn meter right the way back down again. So as long as we can keep that going, we should be absolutely fine. Leech is also super strong here. All of these guys healing up when they get their attacks off. Oh, that's a big one there. It comes a big hit. Obviously, it's not so bad because the ads were down. Leech on again. So we've got Leech on like two of these guys. And as long as we can um, keep Seal moving. She gives us health every time she moves. And as long as we can keep that Leech up, then I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to let this run through to towards the end. I'm just going to be forever on Ice Golem. And um, yeah, and then we'll move on. Okay, there we go. It's 5 minutes 41. One boss down. Still coming in with 2 million of the damage. Grush actually coming in well, 1.8. Um, so one down, guys. Let's move it on. Let's move it on to Spider. Probably the hardest dungeon. So I've got no shield set here. I've got no miscreated monster doing his work. Um, again, I'm hoping for a slow and steady. Now, War Maiden is going to be the target. She's going to be the Spiderling tank uh, with the gear that I've got on there. I don't know if she can hold it up. I do have Seal that can come in with a Resurrect. And I do have a lot of speed running through my team to keep me moving. So Decrease Attack out there straight away. That's good. Decrease Defense out there. Seal comes in with Work. All of these stuns here just gives War Maiden a whole bunch of freedom. 
whole bunch of freedom to um, get some work done before she starts getting chewed up. You see here as well, High Katoon dropping that decreased speed on the boss. We've got Leech going on the boss as well, which means that as long as I can keep his turn meter down and we get a bit of luck, I guess, we should be able to be healing up. Seal also heals your team every time she moves, which again is massive. Like She's such an MVP of this team. Um, everyone else totally uh, replaceable. I'd say Seal is probably the one that is hardest to replace. So I'd be interested to see where these spiderlings go now. I think they're going to go on my Armager, um, if I remember my stats right. Oh, actually, I've just picked her back up, so she'll stay up for a bit longer. But turn meter on the boss seems to be okay. It's whether I can keep these champs alive. Um, we should get, there we go, big hit there, which has just healed her to full because of that leech. Didn't land too many stuns that time. More stuns we get, the better. But again, you know, people say to me, how do you do spider without a miscreated monster or without the HP burn? It's about turn meter control and it's about team composition. Um, looks like she's going to go down again. So we are going to start to switch the aggro in a second. She's getting extra turns though. This relentless set is really working for us here. Seal's also dropping turn meter on, um, on the boss at the same time. Grush actually in a stun set would be pretty cool, I think, here, just to help us out. So Grush is actually going to take the next, the next aggro. Loads of stuns out there. That's nice. We're killing a lot of these spiders as well. So we're doing enough kind of AOE damage to keep the spiderlings down um, just for a decent amount of time. We've got another revive come up. So she's going to take that damage back again. And again, none of these runs are going to be quick. None of this stuff's like properly tuned for crazy speeds, guys. It's more, can I do it? That's, it's just a, a fun, can I do this or not? So, and I think, I think we've got enough turn meter control to just consistently stop that, that spider from having a go. Big hits coming in. Warmaster procs are massive here just to keep you in the game. So we're now getting a lot of damage on our seal because of that ally protection. But she just slams it back up. That leech has just got back to full health. Loads of stuns out as well. I think I think War Maiden's gonna go down again soon. She actually just got a um a Warmaster proc off, which meant that leech pretty much topped her up to full health. So all the time you're getting that, the better. Armor just doing a ton of work keeping that turn meter down. And all of these new spiders that come up, War Maiden just drops their defense, which means that when we get our AoE hits, we are able to um just basically do a ton more damage. A ton more damage which keeps people alive. All the time we're killing off the spiderlings, we're, we're keeping our team alive, basically. See, all dead again. I wonder if this spider might just get one turn, which would be annoying. Might just get a turn. There's that resurrection again. So you can see, like, Seal, as I said, MVP, such a good champion. Such a great free champion to, to get for anyone in the game. Um, sh most people, when they get her, she'll be one of the best champions that you own. Could do with the Warmaster prop. We did get it. So it's healed her up again. So again, it's a long run, guys. Um, oh, we're taking a ton of damage here. Are we going to do this? Stuns out. Give me those stuns. We're just battling with that turn meter the whole time. Turn meter control. Drop defense again everywhere. This is the one I was probably most nervous about because it's just such a tough fight. Such a tough fight. Um, albeit, I might, I might have to sub in Kale for Dragon. I'm not sure. Resurrection comes out again. Still keeping that turn meter down. I'm pretty certain this spider's going to get one turn. I think it's only at a turn. It's probably going to be any time now. So it, it, it looks like it's sitting at 100%, and it basically is. But because... Armager keeps dropping turn meter, actually gives you an extra few ticks, an extra few ticks of, of damage. So close, guys. Look at this. Come on. Warmaster props, what we need right now. So it's going to be another five minute run. Oh, look, we're so close. Come on. Finish it. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hardest one out the window. Oh, that's quite nice as well. Cool. So two down. Uh, 
let's try dragons let's try dragons with the same team um first if that doesn't work i might have to summon kale let's, let's do it so we've actually got quite a lot of poor affinity here this is what i'm most worried about so we've got what three champions out of this group with the wrong affinity um we're still going to get stuns off though we're still going to get a load of control we've got drop defense we've got um drop crit damage and you see the way we're just killing their turn meter their turn meter is just getting absolutely wrecked by these guys one down come on stuns everywhere guys Sil is so strong so strong decreased defense everywhere stuns everywhere who's having a turn no one's having a turn um and we're going to be on to wave two so i'm hoping we just save a little bit for wave two don't use all your good abilities now guys let's go let's go wave two can we get drop defense out straight away i'm not sure is it ready no it's gonna be another turn but got a stun off that's what the stun set's doing for us a couple more stuns as well so we've only got one kind of danger man here and don't forget because still can pick people up that revive is massive three stuns out now so I'm going to fast forward this. I don't think we've got any danger here. I'm going to fast forward it to the actual dragon and see if we've got any, any problems with that. Okay then, onto the dragon. Now, I think it's going to be another slow and steady fight because we don't have poison. We don't have um, any, any way of doing like serious one-hit damage to this guy. So it's all going to be about War Master procs. It's all going to be about staying alive with things like Leech, with Seal, giving us that health regen. Uh, we, got, we can get drop defense out there, which is good. That doesn't mean we hit harder. And, I mean, Seal does tons, guys. Like, she's so good. <laughs> she's so good in dungeons. Uh, my only chance of any sort of poison is War Maiden coming in with the weak, weak source poison. But, you know, Leech being out there the whole time. Um, decrease defense, decrease attack out there. This group is just loving life right now. Stuns can't work. Turn meter control can't work. Seal's having about eight goes in a row. See the way Grush just throws out all of that heal for our team. Leech heals for the team. Detrease attack. Grush is a menace. Uh, absolutely great champion as well. As I said earlier though, like any of these champions are interchangeable with ones that you've got. Any decrease defense champion can come in and do the same job that War Maiden's doing. Um, any any kind of big hitter turn meter control champ like an armiger could be swapped with easily with a cold heart or you know a bunch of others um grush can be any champion really in the game that gives you utility and healing but he is he is a really strong champion um and high Katoon certainly could swap out for an apothecary even someone like a diabolus potentially but high Katoon, people under rater she's brilliant like for that first 30 day champion she is a brilliant champion um I think I realized that more and more using her on my actual free-to-play account. I, I literally put her in every single team. Speed lead in all battles as well means that you're, you're just gaining an extra chunk of speed for your team. But this is going to be another job done, guys. We're not looking at the fastest times in the world, but that is three dungeons wrecked. Let's go on to the last one then. Again, I'm a bit worried about this one. Um, this could be where it all goes wrong. We're going to try same lineup. So we've got a force affinity here, which means that I've got four of my champions are really strong. Seal is going to be under a bit of pressure. Um, and the other thing is, do we have enough to keep that, that boss's turn meter down? So decreased defense goes out, which is what we need. I don't know if Seal's already tried to do a stun ability, but if she has, she didn't stun anyone. We've got one stun coming out. Oh no, there it is. One, two, three stuns. Okay, that's cool. So... Waves are tough on Finite, really tough. We've got no healing apart from Seal or Grush. But Grush actually does a ton of work. <laughs> Seal does a ton of work as well. She's frozen, doesn't matter, she's still going to heal. So this is looking good. Wave one is almost done. One champ to go. I'm sure we're going to waste a ton of our good abilities now just trying to kill this, are we? Maybe not. Just say one it, that's it. Well done, fellas. Save your abilities. That's nice. Okay. On to wave two. Wave two's tough. Errol does a ton of damage. These two guys at the front just take massive hits and don't even worry about it. Drop defense is going to help us. So stuns on three again. 
you know, if anyone's wondering whether Seal brings anything to the, the table after watching this video, watch it again. She's insanely good. Like, so good. One down. Drop that turn meter on that arrow. Don't let him have a turn. Down he goes. That's probably the biggest danger done on the wave. I'll skip us through to the boss. Okay, so we skipped on a touch. This is the tough part then. Do we have enough hits to get this shield down? A lot of single target hits here. Um, we got, once we get the, the shield down, actually Armaga should be able to help us really keep it down. Armaga and Seal between them should keep it down, but I don't know if we actually get to the point where we get it completely off and then a chance to properly take it down. Leech on there, we really, really need some turn meter control. We dropped a little bit, but not enough. So now we're under pressure. This is where you guys have got to step up. Don't ruin my video, guys. Do not ruin my video. It's been going so well so far. We just need to get back round to Armager again. That's what we need. Back round to Armager. Is it going to come in time? I need some drop turn meter. Didn't get it again. The actual hits coming onto us is kind of weak source. I'm not fussed about that. It's, it's breaking that shield for the first time. Like properly breaking it so that I actually get a bit of turn meter control going on. Double hit there. Relentless set is going to give me a good chance of it. First bit of turn meter control happened. Decreased speed happened as well. Now we've got a chance. Come on, guys. Don't forget, Seal also does some turn meter control in this fight. Turn meter down again. Drop defense on. Now we're moving. So we've got big decreased speed. We've got de uh, decreased defense. We've got a leech going on. So healing's not really a problem here. It's just, it's just turn meter. I think this is in the bag, guys. I think this is going to be one team to beat them all. All of them totally free champions. Um, all of them, in fairness, in strong gear. Um, but in gear that, that makes them work well, like not in really hard hitting gear, but just in gear that, that makes them do their jobs really well. So high accuracy, high speed from your Armager, high crit. High accuracy, high defense from your War Maiden and good speed. Very high speed from your High Cartoon with good defensive stats. High accuracy, high speed and good defensive stats from your Grush. And then um, high accuracy, high speed, good defensive stats from your seal so none of these guys are kitted out to be smashing big numbers of damage it's all about team composition team synergy gear sets which actually let them do their their debuffs in the right way and you too will be able to build one team to smash them all um <laughs> let's just finish it through another five minute run guys if you're still with me at this stage i appreciate your support uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please give me a sub. Please give me a like on the video. Uh, it means a lot to me. And um, yeah, I'm still pushing for that 100,000 subs by the end of the year goal. So I would appreciate anybody um, new subbing to the channel. Let me know in the comment below. Um, what, what else would you like to see from this type of series? You know, it's how how can I build this even better so that it, it's more relevant to, to everybody watching this video? Is there any champions that you, perhaps you wouldn't be using out of these five and who would you put in their place? Um, I've been Hell Hades. That's one team to beat them all. I'll catch you later.